Eye on the prize. Eye cranky. There you go. Okay. What, is the, what is the prize? I want the prize. <laughs> go so shoes shoes so we kind of get a few different categories of customers in here there are people who've been running forever who pretty much know what they want and we we let you guide us yes. then there are people who um might be referred to by a doctor or they're looking to just feel better in their day-to-day -day life and we love those people yes. like there is a certain kind of victorious feeling when we can find just the right shoe Yes, and we've all those had people. those customers where um, it's almost life-changing. Yes. Even though we talked about earlier how a shoe isn't a miraculous thing, sometimes it really can be. Yeah. I remember a man I had, and he was an older gentleman, and he works at Walmart, and his daughter kept telling him that, Dad, you have to quit your job. You can't be on your feet all day. And then he came here. I fit him for shoes, and the first pair of shoes he tried on, he started crying because... Okay. He, <laughs> because he was so happy that he could continue working at wow. his job because, you know, that's his, his daily thing he does. He wants to be able to go yeah. out and work. And so the new shoes let him do that. So we have those customers. We love, and we, you're probably not the ones watching the show, but we do love those customers. And please don't ever come in here. They're ghosts. <laughs> Not the we, we keep getting interrupted, <laughs> so if we're jumpy, that's why. It's a busy Friday. Yeah. <laughs> um, don't ever come in here and apologize and say, well, I'm not a runner. I'll never be. And you know what really triggers me? Yeah. <laughs> As when people say, I know I don't look like a runner. Oh, yeah. Everybody can be a runner. Everyone can be to. a runner. That's, that's why I wear the shirt sometimes, because I'm like, do I look like a runner now? It says it on my shirt. <laughs> I should wear my... My 26.2 met. I love <laughs> this. <laughs> we ran a marathon. Did you know? Anyway. So the third category, though, is the newer runner or maybe the person who's been running a little bit has never, ever been fitted for an athletic shoe. You are so much fun. Yes, we love you. Trust us yes. is first what we're saying. Our owner, Daniel Brass. <laughs> He has been doing this for 25 years. His entire professional life has been runners, running shoes, and he has taught us, and he will tell you this. Too. Well, everything he knows. He yes. certainly tries. He does. There are no secrets with Daniel. No. Um, so trust us that we are going to honor your wishes, but we really want to honor your journey as an athlete, and you're an athlete. Don't laugh when you say it, even though I still kind of do. I don't know why. <laughs> Yes. So talk to me. You tell me because you're you're the newest girl here. I am. When a new runner comes in the store, what are the questions that you ask? Um, first of all, we I always like to get an idea of what they have been running in, even though usually it's not the best shoe to be running in. At least it gives me a starting point. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, um, how far would they like to run? Like, what are their goals? What are they looking to do? Are they looking to just run a couple miles? Are they looking to run a 5K? Are they trying to run a marathon? What are they doing? Because that all gives you an idea of what kind of shoe you'll you'll pull out first. And then we always watch, um, I think from there, it's probably just watching them run. Mm -hmm. And that's always, especially with newer runners, they feel very um, self-conscious, like, oh my God. Like Don't you want to, yeah. <laughs> so it's always like that moment where I'm like, just try to run as normally as you do. And that again, just gives us a lot of information. And then of course the foot scanner and people always say, this isn't going to weigh me, is it? No, it's not. I don't care about how much you weigh. I just care about the shape of your foot and what your arches are like. The other important thing that people don't realize is they typically have a bigger foot. And it doesn't matter. It's okay. Size doesn't matter in this instance. No. And so when we're sizing people, it's important to know what foot is bigger because you need you have to size to that bigger foot and people don't understand that. You have to give room to that bigger foot mm -hmm. because otherwise it's going to be painful. Um, and then the one last thing that You're always right, gets up, I know. Just, 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 let me talk. Let me talk. Okay. One last thing. <laughs> Ah, I love us. Okay, is um, people typically don't realize how much space they need 
in front of their toes because they will come in and say, I am this size and this is the size I am. And then you put the shoe on their foot and their toe is touching the edge of the shoe. And that's not good. So then you have to try to um, talk to them. <laughs> we and don't touch you. No, no, we won't touch you. But get them to understand, especially if they're newer runners, that if they're looking to increase their mileage, they need that space in, at the end of their toe. And it's okay. We don't go home and tell anybody like what your new shoe size is. <laughs> So we don't we publish do, that information. We don't. Nobody's gonna know that you used to be a seven and a half and now you're an eight or an eight and a half. Nobody knows that. Let me tell you something. <laughs> so a lot of these runner groups, communities, Facebook groups, whatever, or comment sections, dear God, the special <laughs> hell of comment sections. You know, you get those things like, you know you're a runner if or you're a real runner if. And the one that makes me crazy, you know, you're not a real runner if you've never lost a toenail. Okay, now granted, I've only been doing this about two and a half years. I have lost a toenail though. I have not. And even after after the marathon that we ran, like bosses, I remember that was me taking, my, <laughs> taking my shoes and socks off like later after I you know, hung out here and went out to eat and the whole thing. My feet looked perfect. Like they were a little like maybe red, you know, but there's, if you are fitted properly in your shoes and you have no other injuries right going on. you should never just it shouldn't be a badge of honor like your toes shouldn't be hitting the end of your shoes i know you shouldn't just be losing toenails and there are lots of things like sometimes people bring shoes back and will ask you questions about your socks or how they're laced or different things and that's because there really are so many variables. And you may remember from a few weeks ago, you have 17,000 nerve endings in your feet. There's gonna be a test in all our shoes. All our shows. After this episode. There's all these variables though. There's your gait, there's the terrain, your training pattern, the, you know, the weather. For women, there's a whole other list of things. <laughs> help us yes. um so there are lots of things that can affect how something fits how it feels from day to day so when you come in and say i want a running shoe we are trying to give you the very best shoe for all of those nerves yes and all of those scenarios which is why this one is maybe a good shoe for you but not a good shoe for me a kimmy who works here shout out to kimmy kimmy we almost have a rule of thumb if she likes a shoe, I don't. If I like a shoe, she doesn't. We, yeah, that goes for us. And Dawn likes everything. Uh, no, especially, not everything, no, but, but she, I would say Dawn, like I always use Dawn as an example for ultras, that zero drop yeah. shoe we were talking about because she loves the feel of them. So Dawn is our ultras, you're the adoras, I'm typically Brooks and Akimi. Brooks on, <laughs> and, and we oh, all goodness. will test. I think there's only a few brands that I haven't at least tried to run in, but, um. Again, there's all those variables. And here's another thing, like we can bring you the technical specs of a shoe and tell you, okay, this is the most cushioned shoe in this brand. And here's all the reasons why it should work for you. And you might like, it has the most cushion. It feels like I'm standing on the concrete floor. Yes. So ultimately we're gonna listen to you. Um, the, some people wanna hear the tech, some people do not care. They don't care. And I think too, a lot of times I get people asking me, well, what do you run in or what do you like? And I try, matter. no, I try like to wait until the end. Like I'll mm -hmm. tell them what feels good for you because I don't want to sway them. What right. feels good on my feet could be very different for their feet. Or sometimes they love a shoe or someone recommended a shoe for them and you're like, ooh, yeah. you know, that, that felt like knives when I was running in it. Or I, or you know right away that that might have worked for your friend, but it's probably not going to be good for you. We always let you lead and try to gently guide you. Ultimately, we want you to leave here guide. in a shoe that you would choose. Um, not something that we force any. We do for, this is, this is huge. This is for the casual viewer. <laughs> And people, if you're still here listening, if you're still if you're here, still it feels watching. like we've been recording for 12 hours. <laughs> it was lunch and now it's like midnight snack. <laughs> um, we don't have sales quotas, commissions. We don't have, 
you know, this week try to sell the Mizunos. So we, we don't do that. We have some clearance shoes. The clearance shoes are <laughs> always like when a new version of a shoe has come out. When the new Volos come out, the, you know, if we have any of these left, they will go on clearance. That's how it works here. Um, we want happy customers, happy feet. That's why, for heaven's sake, we have a 45 day no worries okay. policy. So you have 45 days to try these shoes and, and you we can want, them back and, we want and exchange you to try, them. Yeah, exchange them. But we want you to try your activities in those shoes too. Like, yeah. Don't wear them around the house and say that you don't like them. Like go out and run and do all your activities in them. And then if you still think you they don't work for you, then bring them back and we'll talk. Let's talk about one last thing that is one very important. Thing. It's what my teenage daughters would call your aesthetic. Um, it's important for people to feel, to look good. Yes. It helps them feel good. So when you find a shoe online that is, you know, rose gold and almond milk, cause that's a new color that's that the, I don't even understand. That is the trending color right, right now. Almond, almond milk. milk. I don't want, ugh, milk? Like, I don't understand. But anyway, <laughs> those particular shoe brands might have shoes in stock on their website that's only in stock for customers and not in stock for retailers, which we, we explain in the store all the time. You may not believe us, but it is true. Yeah. The other thing is that, um, again, the style of shoe that you want might not be available in an array all of, of colors. colors. It costs money for the manufacturers, especially the smaller ones like Diodora. Like Brooks has been around a lot longer than Diodora. They can make lots of colors. These are available in two colors. And they're, I mean, neither of them are, no, I would not have picked this probably. No. Um, but it grew on me because it feels so great. It's worth it. Yeah. So only you can weigh. I mean, if you're buying the shoes for everything that you do, you're going to wear them to work. You're going to wear them to the movies. You're going to wear them to exercise, which we don't recommend, of course. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Some people can only get one yeah. pair of shoes right now. We understand you want it to look good. Or a certain way or a certain color. Right. <sighs> but... I'm exhausted. This I, feels like a tangent. I know, but cut this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll wrap it up. If you're just looking for the right shoe for your foot that feels good, you really have to put the color and what it looks like aside. I always tell people, like sometimes before I open the shoe box, like don't judge a book by its cover. Put it on your foot and then tell me it's not the right shoe for you. So. There you go. Yeah, like give it a chance and let's let's find you the good fit and feel, the perfect fit and feel first and then we'll work on color because we yeah, can or, really we special like order things yeah. or maybe you wanted black and only comes in gray, you know, whatever. We can, we can work it out just like the Beatles said. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, in that last episode, how we Ooh. talked about drinking water and eating healthy? Yeah. I mean, actually... Yes, I've been doing better since then, except right now I want that Heath bar. I just want anything. 80-20. <laughs> 80-20. Yes. Everything in moderation. Okay. Okay.